to adjust the machine for the bottles. Um, we adjust the uh, bottle guide first. Move it back, then put the bottle to be able to move on the conveyor. And also for this side. Okay, after we put the bottle under the finning nozzles, uh, after and uh, adjust the bottle guide for the bottles already, and uh, the the finning nozzles should be should be aimed to the bottle bottle mouse. Okay, uh, and then uh, we rotate it up, rotate this this finning head up uh, to check after. Uh, after the cylinder get done, the filling head after the the filling head get done, um, where where is the position of the filling size? So first we um, move it up first. First I will rotate it up first. Okay, rotate the rotate the filling filling head up to be much further to the bottleneck then. Just turn on the air and press lift. Okay, press lift. This one move move up. This one move down. Okay. After press li press lift, the filling head will move down. The filling head will move down. So then you rotate this one. You take this one low. Okay. Rotate the filling head lower. Okay, rotate the filling head lower to to let the filling filling nozzles aim to the bottles. Okay, to the bottles. So you will check these bottles are not aimed to the bottle bottle mouse. Just the just the time we adjust we adjust the. The position of the bottle, or we adjust the filling head, or the position of the filling filling nozzles. So by adjust the filling nozzles position, we could adjust the screw at the back. Okay, to let the bot to let let the filling nozzle aim to the bottle bottle neck. Okay, or you can adjust the conveyor a little bit. Okay, come very a little bit. So that's how we, that's how we adjust the filling nozzle aim to the, to the bottom mouse. Okay, by rotate this one, by rotate this one. Okay, so that's the, that's the current position is where to start the filling. Okay, after we press lift. It will move up, okay. It will move up. Then we press lift. Then we press lift. So it will go down again. This is where the position will start filling, okay. So you can you can rotate you can rotate it as well again. You can rotate here again to let the filling nozzle get into the bottle, okay. You can let the filling nozzle get into the bottle as well, okay. Um, okay, to double check if the bottle uh, is in the correct position, we can just press um, blocker, this one, block river, okay, this one, block rear, and block front, okay, and this one, so it will limit, its bottle, limit the bottle inside. Okay, inside of the position. So if if, if this one not block the border, we can adjust the we can adjust the cylinder here to move to the correct position. Okay. So we can. So we'll just fix the position first. Okay, and uh, if we want to move uh, left, this one left, we have to adjust here. Okay, adjust here. 
to add the just position of the cylinder. Okay, a little bit left. A little bit left. Okay, then fix position. Fix it. Okay. Then fix it to to double check um, the six bottles are in between in between these two cylinders and the fitting nozzles aim to the bottle mouse. Okay, then adjust the sensor. Um, the sensor should be at the last one. Should be the uh, the the seventh bottles. Okay, this one should aim to the better to be the bottleneck okay better to be the bottleneck so aim to the bottleneck okay so that's it and uh, that's, that's we have finished finish for the uh, position setting then we adjust the uh, fitting volume fitting volume of the fitting volume for the bottles Okay, to add just the filling, filling volume, uh, we just uh, click the photo blocker back, okay, and the uh, lifting, okay, then go back to home screen, and you can see there is a capacity, okay, there's where we set the, where we set the filling volumes, okay, where we set the filling volumes. Okay to, uh, okay, to adjust the filling volume, you can see there's capacity, you can set the filling volume here. And for this one, if you press minimum, it will give just uh, about uh, 20, 20 ml. And you press maximum, it will give more than 500 ml, okay? And this one is, uh, this one is for a small adjustment, let's see, uh, deduct 2 ml. And this one is increased to ml. Okay, that's how we we set the filling volume here, right here. Okay, and let's say if after we after we set filling volume here, but each of filling nozzle, the 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 filling volume of each each of the filling nozzle is not correct, is not equal, then we adjust the. Okay, we adjust the filling speed okay we adjust the filling speed for each filling nozzles we add just the filling speed for each filling nozzles to to affect the filling volume okay if in the same time filling speed is faster which means filling volume is bigger okay so we could adjust the filling speed to affect the filling volume as well and there's another place to uh, do small adjustment. Okay, here is another place to uh, adjust the adjust the filling volume. Okay, here. Okay, this is for number one filling nozzle number one, number two, number three, number five, number four, number and, and number six. Okay, so this is where we uh, do a little bit adjustment for the filling volume if. If the each filling nozzle have different filling volumes, we can uh, slight, slightly adjust here. Okay. Okay. So if we if we adjust the upper, which means the filling volume is bigger. If we adjust lower, which means the filling volume will be smaller. Okay. Just another where we adjust the filling volumes. But this one just for small. Uh, some more adjustment, okay. Okay, here is a suction pump, suction pump to a uh, suction piston to uh, suck up the your materials to the hopper, okay. Fit into the hopper, okay. This one, this pipe you put in your uh, in your materials bucket in your in your container, okay, for suck up your uh, fitting materials. This one will pump up. 
will pump up your materials to the to the hoppers, feeding the hoppers. Okay, and to to turn on this op, turn turn on this function, we go to we go to this one to press add liquid. Okay, add liquid to to open this function during during automatically. Okay, and this is this is a converter. So we can turn on converter. We turn on filling. We turn on lifting. Lift, 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 lift is is this one during during filling. It will be go down and go up. Okay, you can you can turn it on or turn it off. It, if you do not want lifting function, you just don't press this one. Okay, and after that you can uh, start. So after you press start, the converter will be open. The add liquid suction function will start, will will open, and the feeding function will open. Okay. The control, the control here is no, no meaning because um this is a, a for old system. This one is no function, so it's just ignore this one. Okay. So we, let's say I want to open the converter, so we need to start. Okay. You can see there is another one to control the converter. This is a switch. Okay, just turn on the switch. Okay, the converter is running, and this one is at just the speed of the converter. Okay, to move faster and to move slower. Okay. So after you press converter and the press start, you have to turn on here. You have to turn on here this switch and at just speed for the converter. Okay. So let's turn it off. Okay, it's turned off already. Okay, then press start to shut down the uh, auto function. Okay, then the menu screen is each of the function for single single action of the single action of the machine. Okay, to uh, to to for the for the for the testing. Okay, a while ago we just tried some um, some functions here. Okay, uh, the next one parameter settings. Okay, the parameter settings. Say add liquid time. Those those uh, those those uh, settings. I will just uh, explain how uh, uh, what are those what are those uh, settings in the user manual. Okay, and this one is for for the engineer. Just ignore this. Okay, just ignore this. Is for uh, monitor the machine. Okay, um, that's it for how to operate the machine. Okay, it's very easy. Okay, since we already set up the machine for the bottles, we just uh, turn on the converter, turn on the lifting for the testing. Okay. Okay, so it's okay. Okay, so after adjust the after after adjust the filling volume, you can turn on the filling. Okay, and also you can turn on the adding liquid after you put the suction pipe into your materials uh, uh, container. Okay, let's just turn off. Press start. It will turn off. Okay, it's very easy to um to operate the machine and let's see if there let's see if there is any emergency button just press the emergency button to stop the machine immediately and here is the power switch okay